What's up guys? It's Sam here back with another fishing video, Catch and Cook. So, we're out in this urban canal right here and we're gonna be fishing in the weeds for some bluegill to eat tonight. And then I got my buddy here who's manning the camera right now, Kyle. Yes. Hey guys, I'm Kyle. I'm the one that's uh, videotaping it right now. And um, I am actually going to, <laughs> I'm going to uh, be a part of this channel too. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We have relocated in a different spot. And there's already some monsters I can see. So I'm going to start right away. I think we should do pretty decent today. Knowing our circumstances. But, you know, we got to do the best we can. Yo, guys, I got one. I got one. Let's go, guys. Let's land this fish right here. We'll give you a nice look at them. Nice bluegill right here. Nice, nice dude. Nice the colors on it. Zoom in on this just for me. What a pretty fish, huh? This one's a good eater. It's about the size of my hand. The ones that are this big are nice. Nice. So this will be dinner, guys. So we got to fill up the bucket and put some uh, water in there so we can fill them later. Nice That's catch. Nice dinner. Thanks, dude. Your turn. Look at this beauty right here. On the Senko right here. Ooh, he's a feisty one, guys. Ooh, I can't even get my finger in there. There we go. So guys, this is the bass with the Senko that I caught it on. What a beauty. beauty. All right, let's throw him back. Hooked. There he goes. Nice fish. Thanks. All right. Guys, I got one. Yes! Let's go. All right, guys. Perfect. Perfect. Another fish that we're about to cook. Very Hold it on your side so they can see it. What a pretty fish, guys. We're gonna be eating that sunfish right there. For sure. As long with that bluegill. All right, let's go put them in. All right. All right, guys, so we got a couple so far. Oh, Ooh. We're just fishing in this little uh, boathouse area, and they seem to be filled in here. So we're just using a little fake uh, soft plastic red worm, and it's like half of the size of my index finger. Here it is right there. Perfect. Perfect Can size. Eat that up. And here are all the fish we have. Well, not all of them, but we have. There we go. Two of them. Let it so breathe. Far. Whoa! Whoa. It's a feisty one. Yeah, for sure. So guys, nice we're gonna catch a couple more. All right, guys. So right now, um, Sam's about to get ready to uh, fillet the fish, and uh, I'm gonna be filleting it, and um. Actually, I'm going to be filming it. He's going to fillet it. I'm going to film him, and uh, yeah, we'll see you then. So guys, this is one of the bluegills that we had. It's a pretty nice one. So what you want to do is you want to sharpen your knife so it's nice and sharp. You can test it by putting it against your fingernail. And then you go right behind the gill, right behind no. the gill right here, and make it crease like that. Going right into the fish, and then sometimes I even take this and kind of move it back so it's easier to cut. And then once you get there, you're going to want to flip the knife nice and, cut it, and cut it along its back. Just you don't want to you don't want to force anything. Just saw it right along its back to get as much meat as possible out of your fish because you don't want to waste any of these guys. <sighs> so That's this is one fillet right here. And then what you're going to want to do, you'll feel these rib, these, uh, rib cage right here. And you're going to want to take your knife and just run it right under there. 
and just put your fingers on the rib cage, but don't cut yourself. And just go right along until you got them out. I would be super careful because this is a these fillet knives are super sharp and it can cut you at any time if you're not careful enough. So you're just gonna wanna foul, keep following it until it stops like that. And then what you're gonna wanna do is this is the easiest way instead of scaling it. Start from the back right here. Right here and cut like that and flex your knife and saw but don't force anything to get a nice slab off of there so there's the first fillet then what you're gonna want to do is get a bowl of water and just put it in there and then you can clean it out later so that's how it looks with everything and then the other side is basically the same thing so and then you want to get your bag like a little like farmer jack Kroger bag just chuck your skin in there from the fish then you're going to want to do the exact same thing on the other side so I'll flip this fin back flip this fin back then you want to cut diagonal, like against the scales, so it goes in easier. If you go like this, it doesn't work because the scales are flowing that way. So you want to kind of get underneath the scales and cut in like that. And then curve your knife under. Nice fillet. Yeah. If you do it right, they'll turn out just the way you want them. But if you rush, then you can jack something up and you won't be as happy as you would if you took it nice and slow. But once you get the hang of it, it'll be pretty fast. And like once you do it more than once. Oh yeah, that's a great fillet. Yeah. You'll get pretty good at it. And we still have two more to go. And then we'll show you the final fillets right after this one. Yeah. We'll go off camera and finish them. So then you, what you want to do, you can't really get anything out of this guy. So you're just going to want to chuck them right in here. So guys, I forgot to tell you, this is kind of a graphic thing. I sh I, I'm going to mention this in the beginning of the video. So if you don't like this kind of stuff, just I mean, watch the intro so we get the view, but, you know. <laughs> whatever. So you're going to want to do the same thing here and flex this knife so you get as much meat as possible. You don't want to waste these fish because fish, they were put on this earth for a reason. So there's this nice fillet. This is all just the stuff from the fish, and you'll clean it off later. So here's the next fillet, and we're just going to finish them up. So, guys, we're going to be cooking this fish right yep. here that we caught and we have, well I'll show you what we have. We have some flour right here, some bread, pain cow breadcrumbs. Is this it right here? Right here. And we're gonna put an egg in here. And, and a then, little bit of water, not too much. Yeah. So let's put this in. All right, perfect. And we gotta, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And then we're gonna grab this I just wicks it. It's gonna wicks it. Then we gotta put some water in there. Yeah, we're gonna put some water in there. All right, we're just gonna put some water in there real quick. I'll I'll finish mixing it. And then, guys, when we're gonna be cooking, we're actually gonna use a pan. And we're gonna put some oil in there. So we gotta start up the oven and warm up the oil. So Kyle, I'll mix and you start up the oven. All right. So it starts. This is good, right? This is perfect. Yeah. It's gotta right, get everything good. mixed up. All right, so we're, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some 
oil in here. Open this up for me. Actually, I got it. So we're going to put some vegetable oil in there. I'm going to crank this up. So I'll put that on. So we're gonna, not going to put too much oil in there. Yeah, not too much. The flame's on. Yep. Then once we're going to put a little bit more oil in there. Alrighty. And then the sequel for the uh, fish is going to be, we're going to dip in the egg, we're going to dip in the flour, and then the breadcrumbs. So, so this uh, is going to be first right here. Yep. Second, last, then we're going to just gently lay them in here when this warms up. Yep. And when we know the oil is hot, we're just going to dip our finger in some water. Then we're just going to kind of take it in there and when, then when it sparks. Fish. And then when it sparks, then we know uh, she's hot and ready to go. Yep. All right. So this is the fish that we filleted. Yep. We're just going to want to... Nice. Turn it over and make sure yep. there's nothing on it. That was the yep. big one. Yeah, this that is the nice the one. one that we caught. This one was perfect. It was a beauty. All right. There's a little bit of bones. Gonna We're going to get a cutting board. I'm going to grab this cutting board right here. And then what we're going to do is get some of the bones out in the middle. So we're going to set this down. Yeah. And we only have a butter knife, so we'll just do it. We Actually, dude, do. watch. There you go. So we're going to feel in the middle. Yeah. Because on perch, for... there are bones, right? Do you feel them? Yeah. yeah. There's just a little bit right there. We're going to want to feel right here, and you'll feel the super sharp bones. And you're just going to want to cut on both sides of them. We should have done this at the filet, but we just weren't thinking. So we're going to cut those out right here, and then we're going to do this on every fish. It'll take two seconds. So that one is good. We'll put in the batter. No, not yet, not yet. All right. We'll, we'll put wait. them onto the side in this. Yeah, so we'll put them right here. But we got we got some good fillets. Just for a snack, not a year. Yeah. If you caught a ton of them, like 15, then it would be good for like a you. Yeah. But if you want to catch a lot, just go in the winter time for perch. And that. Yep, for sure. So. Make sure that this is a nugget. It's not a not a fillet. It's a nugget. Sorry. Kyle uh, filleted them. So here's our finals. And I did not fillet them. Here. Either. And then I'll hand it over to Kyle. All right, guys. So we're just gonna bring these these uh, fish over fillets. And right now I'm just gonna dip them in yolk. Make sure they're nice and soaked. Yep, gotta make sure that they're nice and soaked. Then we're gonna go to number two, which is a flour. And put it in the flour. Oh, and then we need another plate to put the finished ones on. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the rag. Okay. Yeah, put that in. And, and then the breadcrumbs. The bread mm. For sure. Perfect, Delicious. guys. Look at that. That's right. perfect. Put it back in there. Then we're gonna put it in there. Let's see if this is ready yet. As you can see, once you put a little bit of water on your finger and put it in there, it pops. And you know it's ready. It'll like spark. So now we need our prongs wherever they are. They're over here. I'll put them there. Trust. Here. And then we'll just gently lay them down and we'll spread them apart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah guys, look at that. Oh. Now be careful because this can pop and grease can burn you. Yeah, so you... And then we might have to turn the thing down just a little bit. Let's do that. Here, how about you do it? Okay, I'll turn that down. And the last one, oh guys, the this little looks nugget. Great. The nugget. So these are from the bluegill, and it looks like a pretty a decent. Yep. And then do we have a plate to put them on? Uh, we're gonna put them on that. Oh, no, let's put, put them on a plate. All right. Then we're gonna wait till they're, uh, uh, what's it called? Nice. 
kind of flaky. Yep. Flip them over. Give it a few more minutes. Take these one over. Kyle, the cook here. Oh yeah, baby. Sure. Then next, guys, you you gotta stay tuned because I mean we're catching pike that we're gonna cook. We're gonna be cook, cooking walleye, walleye, all of it. Definitely stay tuned. So sub to the channel and turn on the notifications just so you can you get notified that when we're gonna make some new vids. I like we we're gonna do a ton more catch and cook videos just like this one, guys. Oh yeah. Please, guys, give us love and support. We tried hard, worked all day on this, so we'd appreciate it very much. Do you mind if I lay him down on the plate? For sure. Thanks, dude. Alrighty, so we're gonna just check them. Woo! Oh, yeah. Kay. Those look delicious. Alright. Just leave them a little longer. I'd say Ooh, about a couple check more. Check them. Turkey oh yeah, this, this one's good. All right, let's lay this one down on the plate. Oh, I say we just cut here. We just put it over here. Yeah. Okay. And that off. So we're just gonna let it let it settle down and put the nugget on the plate first. Nugget is down. Next one. Down. Nice. They, don't, they don't take that long to cook either, guys. They only take like two minutes. Not even. But if mm. you have a ton, it'll be a little bit longer. But I mean, it's all worth it. It tastes great. Yeah, it tastes really good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and it's nice and crispy, too, guys. Alright, so basically, we got all of it. We put it from the pan into the into it. Tastes, Tastes good? good? Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna leave it and I'll show you the finishes. So, so guys, this is the final uh, part of this awesome, spectacular catch and cook series. Got the food. seasoning. Whoops. Got the seasoning. You want some? Uh, I'm good. That looks horrible. Smell it. Seriously. Here. All right, yeah, sure, I'll have sure. some. So we're just putting some seasoning on it to make it more better. Like, and then you gotta have some salt on it. Not a lot, but just yep. enough. And I'll, hold on, give me one second. And I uh, gotta get some forks. Thank and, uh, you, buddy. All right, let's see how we did. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, guys, it's so great. good. Just end it. Not right now. So, this is spectacular. It's mm. delicious, guys. So, this is the final right here. Mm -hmm. Tastes awesome. It's so good, guys. It's perfectly cooked. And it just needs a, just a couple minutes. Huh? Mm. Hope you learned something today. We played it for you. And, yeah. So, I hope you liked it. And, like, that's all gone. But, you can catch a ton more of these things with like a real worm because they smell a lot better to the fish anyway. So, and if you have a ton of these things, like you'll have a big dinner. For sure. Especially in the winter, purse fishing out of, out of the ice. So, we'll post three times a week, guys, or maybe even more starting today. So, we're going to go out of this thing right now. Hope you liked it. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Whoop. We'll see you in a little bit.